to the virtual wide chance here get my belt fastened tight all right microphone on hair still messy uh welcome back if you're tuning in on facebook live right now make sure to check out the virtual why all the different offerings that we have today's practice is power flow yoga now this is uh maybe not the most intense practice but it is definitely you know more for like you know people who have done it before uh or people who've practiced before intermediate level stuff but if you're brand new and a beginner i'll give you lots of options too so just make sure you listen to your body don't do too much don't hurt yourself don't strain don't stress we are just here to listen to what our body uh, has to say and give it what it needs so let's start with our feet hip width distance apart uh, maybe a little wider than hip width distance actually so you know no, look down at your feet see where your hips are and bring your feet a little bit wider maybe the insides of your feet line up with the outsides of your hips if that's comfortable next what we're gonna do is find a little micro bend in the knees bend the knees a little bit just feel what you got going on soften the soles of the feet let your feet relax the arches of the feet the uh the bones the muscles between the bones in your feet let everything kind of sink into the ground and once again a, a nice little micro bend in the knees so your knees aren't locked and you really feel what's going on there the weight should be in the thighs next thing we're going to do is relax the shoulders away from the ears and try to position the middle top of the head right over where we feel our tailbone is so that might take some you know leaning back a little bit now for like for like this crown of the head is pretty far away from the tailbone so something more like that so the middle top of your head's over your tailbone real micro adjustments to feel what what awakens and we're going to pull in on our belly button to support our low back so we don't want to arch our low back or feel like all the weight's there Palms down by the sides, palms facing forward, so the shoulders are open. <clears throat> now we're gonna take a movement that's gonna start to generate just some bodily awareness to get some relaxation going, to soften the stiff parts and just get blood flowing. So, with the knees slightly bent, on your inhale, you're gonna scoop like you're lifting light from your belly button up to your heart. So your shoulders might kind of shrug up. On your exhale, we're gonna act like we're pushing that light forward from our heart. Roll the tailbone under, tuck the chin, hollow out the chest. On your inhale, we're gonna reach the palms high, fingers pointing inward and shoulders away from the ears. And on the exhale, the arms come down slowly and mindfully which can lead then to another inhale and scoop and exhale and push and inhale reach remember shoulders away from the ears and exhale arms come down allowing the knees to kind of move with us inhale scoop exhale push inhale reach and exhale lower down we're going to repeat this several more times so just feel where you're feeling it in your body you can move at your own pace it's an inhale with the scoop and exhale with the push inhale reach the arms high and exhale arms lower down now as we're flowing really feel your feet softening really feel your shoulders moving really feel what your spine has to show you a big shout out to my friend Alexa who showed me this movement. I really enjoy it for any level of intensity type of practice. This is a good start just to get things flowing, addressing your hips, your spine, your shoulders, your lungs and ribs. All very good stuff. So we're just warming up here to notice where is your body responding? inhale scoop exhale push inhale reach Ooh, and 
exhale, arms lower down. Let's do three more of these. You know, you might notice new stuff every time you do it. Adjust in any way. You can adjust the feet wider apart. You can increase the range of motion. You can just breathe into the spaces. I feel like something's happening. Or it might feel a little stiff or a little sore. Remember, we don't want to hurt ourselves. But a little bit of discomfort kind of reveals what's going on in our body. Because our body might have already been uncomfortable even though we weren't paying attention. So now that we're paying attention and we're moving it, whatever we're noticing, you know, meet it with curiosity, meet it with acceptance, and know that it's changing. All right, last one here. And arms lower down. Good. Now we're standing tall. Still a micro bend in the knees. Position the crown of the head over the tailbone. You can even roll your tailbone kind of forward and under by pulling in on your belly button. Micro bend in the knees. Just feel how weight is sitting on your spine and how much you know, support it takes to not be dumping that low weight or that weight into the low back there. Good. All right, before we get into some sun salutations, I actually want to work on the hips a little bit. Well, this one might feel a little awkward at first, um, and that's okay. You can move in a way that feels comfortable for you. So first, we're going to start with the feet a little wider than hip width, distance apart, maybe even a bit more than that. You know, feel your feet coming wider apart, toes out, heels in. And on our inhale, we're going to reach like YMCA, but it's like the uh, star pose. So imagine your body's like a star. Legs, arms out, head up, core tight. This is star pose, and we're gonna come to this on our inhales. On our exhales, we're gonna bring the hands down through hard center and bend the knees to kind of come to what some call a horse pose or a goddess pose where we're sitting deep. We're just making sure that tailbone is still kind of rolled under. Let me show you. It's easy to want to be like this, but you want to have that tailbone rolled a little forward and under. And once again, if it's too intense, bring your feet a little closer together. Adjust in any way that feels intuitive to your body to feel okay. This is going to build a lot of heat because it's a lot of work on some big muscles in the body. And our movement here is going to be an inhale to a star pose, an exhale to that horse pose. Keep that tailbone rolled under, that core engaged. Inhale to star. It's kind of feeling how the hips are moving. Exhale to horse pose. Let's keep on moving very mindfully. Try to move as gracefully as possible. And maybe your range of motion is a little less. Maybe you're not dipping very deep, or maybe you're looking for that intensity and want to dip really low. Remember, you're, you're not forcing anything. So if your body says, oh yeah, we can go a little deeper safely without extreme discomfort, then listen to your body. You can get any type of graceful movement here. You might feel your hips getting warm, your thighs getting warm, your low back your shoulders, lots of stuff working here. Now this is not necessarily easy, but you can always make it easier by adjusting. And you can always make it more intense by increasing that range of motion, either widening the legs or sitting deeper. But just notice every time you make these moves, you encounter something new. 
because your body is changing and adapting. So this nice slow flow is really opening up those channels to allow for some of the more invigorating practices, but slow movement is always good for the body. And when you finish, we'll bring the feet back in. As you step your feet back in, you might notice where this work was. You might notice some little snaps, crackles, and pops. Take any organic movement. You might feel it in the hamstrings and the thighs or deep into the hip sockets. And that's all good. That's exactly what we wanted to wake up. So now we got the blood flow through the legs, through the shoulders, through the spine. We're gonna get into the sun salutations to allow even more opening of the spine. And remember, I'll offer some uh, you know, choices here in case you're new to this type of practice. It's really easy to overdo it. And then I'll offer more options for people that are a bit more advanced and are looking for that edge. So, with feet hip width distance apart, micro bend in the knees, roll the tailbone under, crown of the head over the tailbone. We'll start with the hands at heart center in gratitude. Shoulders relaxed. Take a couple breaths to just notice what's already working. Especially notice your low back. What happens when you pull in on that belly button? Is it revealing anywhere that feels a little tight or overworked? And can you traction your feet into the ground towards each other? Not moving your feet, but engaging the muscles like you're trying to drag your feet together. But you're pushing against the ground, so it's an immovable object. You don't need to strain or push too hard against the ground, just enough to feel those muscles light up. On your next inhale, we'll sweep the arms high, nice and steady, nice and slow. On the exhale, we're going to fold forward, tuck the chin, lead the heart toward the knees on your inhale we'll take a halfway lift and we'll hold here for a few breaths just to get it set up your feet should be hip width distance apart knees roll towards each other pull in on your belly button pull in on your pelvic floor like a kegel lift hands can be on your knees or your shins or just parallel to the ground with your palms facing the ground pull the shoulders away from the ears reach the crown of the head forward from the tailbone pull deeply in on that belly button and just take a couple breaths here to feel what's going on. There should be a lot going on in the core, in the low back, wherever else it shows up. And on your exhale, we'll fold forward, tuck the chin. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way high. And exhale, hands to heart center. Take a couple breaths, notice what's moving in the spine. Again, we want to pull in on that belly button. We want to be aware of where that tailbone is. So we're not just dumping weight into this arch of our back. We get a lot of unconscious work on our low back. So we're consciously engaging the core to help support that weight, right? All right, we're going to move into a full sun salutation. We're still going to go nice and slow so you can feel the details. On your inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And on your exhale, let's start by stepping back and coming all the way down to the belly. Now your first option here is a low cobra. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Pull in on the pelvic floor, that kegel lift. And make sure your hip points, the fronts of your hips, and your low ribs are pressed into the ground. On an inhale, we're gonna lift the chest without using any weight in the hands. So we're really engaged in the low back. Make sure that pelvic floor is pulled in and feel how those two muscles come, I mean, two groups of muscles come together. Pull forward on the heart, tuck the chin, pull forward on the crown of the head, and pull back on the shoulders. So this is your first option here. Another option you can take is a high cobra. By pushing into the mat, you want to engage your fingers, your hands, so you really feel your forearms light up. You don't want to just be dumping this weight into the wrist. You should really feel that work on your fingers, hands, forearms. We're also rolling the shoulders outward and back to let the heart shine forward. 
knees are on the ground. Another option here is pull in deeply on that belly button. Firm the thighs and lift the knees up off the ground for an upward facing dog. Okay, so your options, low cobra with no weight in the hands, high cobra with the weight in the hands and the knees on the ground, and upward dog with the knees lifted. And then the exhale, you can push back to extended child's pose. This is our first option here. Big toes together, knees wide on the mat. Walk the hands forward. <clears throat> Let me find my mic in all this hair. Okay. And through down dog, you can engage this by pushing the hands into the mat, rolling the shoulders outward, pushing the forearms into the mat, and pulling everything back towards you. Another way to do this, or another option for this, would be a downward facing dog. So your hands are just as engaged, your shoulders are rolling outward, your elbow points are pointing backward, and, and when you lift your knees and send your hips high, those elbow points are pointing more toward the ground. Press that heart back toward the thighs, tuck the chin, take some deep breaths, Really keep pressing your head toward the ground, heart toward the thighs, shoulders rolling outward, and fingerprints squeezing the ground. On your inhale, look to your hands, and we'll just review these options here. You got low cobra from your belly, high cobra from your hands, upward dog with your knees lifted, extended child's pose, or a downward facing dog. On your inhale, we'll look to the hands. Exhale, step your feet behind your wrist. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, sweep the arms high. All right, let's exhale, hands to heart center. Kind of reset, notice where your feet are. Notice if your knees are still micro bent. Notice if your tailbone is still rolled under, your core is engaged, your low back is engaged. It's not just bearing this weight. It's really mindful about putting the spine in place. And the shoulders are relaxed. You can soften your face, take some deep breaths. The breath is where we get our energy from. And if you notice, you start holding your breath in times of intensity, that's exactly when you should be deepening your breath, slowing it, and becoming more aware of how to direct it to the places that need it. On your inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, option to come to the ground for a, <clears throat> onto the ground, or you can come to a low plank. You can inhale to either a low cobra, high cobra, or upward facing dog. And you can exhale, pressing back to a down dog or extended child's pose. On your inhale, we have the option here for a high plank. You can send your hips in line with your spine. Your hands are still engaged. Your shoulders are rolling outward. Your belly button is pulled in. And your exhale, we press back to down dog. On your inhale, raise the right leg high for a three-legged dog. We're gonna move that right hip all around to just feel all the different directions our hips and low back can move. We're squeezing those hands into the mat. We're grateful for it all. And on your exhale, we're gonna bring that right knee toward your right elbow. Pull in on your belly button. Remember, this is pretty intense, so go slow. It's more intense when you go slow. And on your inhale, raise that right leg. Exhale, we'll bring the right knee toward the left elbow. So we're twisting across the body. Pull in on the belly button. Shoulders away from the ears. And inhale, raise that right leg high. On your exhale, we'll step that foot down. And we'll come to a down dog or an extended child's pose if you need it. Take a breath here. Remember, honor your body. Keep those hands active so you're not just dumping weight into the wrist. 
And on your inhale, we'll lift that left leg and take any organic movement with that left leg. You can send your hips high. You can bend your left knee. Remember breathing all the way down to the spaces that feel worked or stretched. On your next exhale, we're going to bring the left, el uh, left knee toward the left elbow. Pull in on your belly button. On your inhale, we'll lift that left leg high. Exhale, we'll bring the left knee toward the right elbow. The slower you go, the more you're going to feel. And inhale, bring that left leg high. Exhale, we'll lower that left leg down. And either take any organic movement in down dog or come to a child's pose to let the arms get a break. And when you're in child's pose, pull the ground back towards you to lengthen the spine and the arms. Good. On your next inhale, we'll look to the hands. Exhale, step your feet behind your wrist. Fold forward for rag doll pose or for a forward fold. We'll just breathe here. Try to relax your eyes, your eye sockets, your jaw, your shoulders. On your inhale, halfway lift. Long spine, core engaged, shoulders relaxed. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms high. And exhale, hands to heart center. This microphone goes all over the place when I'm upside down and around. Okay, let's see. Next up, we got some warrior poses. Once again, we're going to bring the feet wide. Not too wide. You don't want to feel stressed or uh, in danger here. You want your body to be comfortable, but comfortably challenged, right? Step the feet wide. Take the toes on the right foot. Point them directly out to the right. Really look at, at how the toes plant on the ground. You don't want them diagonal. These front toes, or these right toes, need to be pointed directly toward the front or the right. Your back toes, <clears throat> look at your right heel and line it up with the arch of the left foot. So you might need to move it over a little bit. You might need to move your left foot over a little bit. And you want your left toes at a diagonal toward the left wall and the front wall. So kind of toward your other toes, but kind of toward that wall out here, right? Bend your right knee so your right knee is right above your right ankle. You don't want it to go past your ankle. If you feel like you can bend that knee further, then move your foot further forward so that knee does not bend past the ankle. Then we'll bring the arms wide and point the chest directly toward what would be the left or originally the front, how we started. But your right arms is over your right leg and your chin is over your right shoulder. This is what the pose looks like, but more than how it looks is what you do with it. So actively, we're tractioning the feet into the ground towards each other. Feel how that lights up all these muscles deep into the thighs. And we reach our arms away from each other. Feel what lights up in the shoulders, in the torso, in the heart. Notice the neck and shoulders. Try to relax your shoulders away from your ears. Then we breathe into the spaces that need it. For a little bit of movement, we're going to straighten that front leg on the inhales. Reach the arms overhead. Exhale, warrior two. We're just bending that knee and moving the arms. Straighten the knee on the inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, <clears throat> warrior two. Really see how every movement shows you a bit of what's going on in your body. The slower you move, the more detail and grace you can move with. And what that does is really awaken all these little muscles that get overlooked or compensated for or then further weakened because of the neglect or because we forget about them. So move slow, but 
feel the power in the pose. Good, we'll bring that front foot, <clears throat> the, the right foot, to point the toes directly forward or to the side. Directions are tough in this setting. We're gonna take the toes on the left foot, point them directly out to the left next. Front heel lines up with the arch of the back foot. That left knee bends to be right above the ankle. We adjust the distance between the feet so that we can comfortably be challenged with that knee over the ankle. Toes on the right foot are pointing toward the right and toward the front. The left now is the front. We bring the arms wide. Roll the tailbone under, shoulders over the hips, chin over that left shoulder. To engage this pose, we traction the feet towards each other. Make sure that tailbone is rolled under and not sticking way out behind us. For like this, we're getting a lot of work on that low back. Not necessarily the best way. So pull in on your belly button, pull that tailbone under, chin over that left shoulder. And keep reaching those arms wide as you traction the feet towards each other. Where does the breath go in this pose? And your inhale, straighten the front leg. Reach arms overhead, lengthen the spine, pull in on the belly button. Don't arch the low back, but lengthen it's like you're lifting through the heart. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, warrior two. Move slowly, remember the points of focus here. In graceful movement, we find a lot of discomfort. We find our, our wish to hurry through stuff, our wish to skip the tough parts the wish to always feel strong and capable. Sometimes in our yoga practice, we find our power through being with and accepting some of our weaknesses because everything is impermanent. Our weaknesses can become our strengths, but we first have to be able to accept them. That's why moving slow can be so challenging to a busy mind it's really uncomfortable in a body that's used to just skipping the tough stuff so feel where you're at and when you finish with this movement ah, we'll bring the toes back forward bring the feet a little closer together I'll bring the feet actually all the way together if that feels good what we'll do is bend our knees an option to rise up on our toes here tuck the chin towards your forehead Sorry, forehead toward the knees, tuck your chin, draw your shoulders away from the ears. And breathe deeply just to feel what's been exposed, what's been worked on. As we have a seat, we'll do a real quick, challenging core posture here. Knees together, sit up tall. This is boat pose. We're relaxing our shoulders. We're pulling in on the core, the belly button, the pelvic floor. Everything nice and secure. And you can just stay here and breathe if that's good for you. Or you can rise up on your toes. Or you could lift one foot. Or you could even lift both feet, squeezing the knees together. Option to release your hands if that feels good. Keep your shoulders relaxed, your face relaxed. Maybe you can even straighten your legs. Try to fix your eyes on one single point. Remember, you can always check down to a, a less intense version of the pose. But try to keep your core integrated, your belly button pulling in. And what does this show you? We'll take one more big breath here. And as we lower down, come on down to your back. Feet hip width distance apart, knees wide. Sorry, no, feet hip width distance apart. 
<clears throat> knees hip width distance apart. Place your hands on the mat. Lift your hips up off the ground on an exhale. And then to engage this pose, we want to tuck the chin, relax the face, relax the shoulders, relax the heart. But we want to engage by pulling in on the pelvic floor like that kegel lift and roll the knees towards each other while breathing deep belly breaths to feel that activation in the low back. This strengthens those muscles that normally just get the weight dumped on them on that lumbar spine. So as we're lifting the hips, remember to feel the you know, hamstrings engaged. Feel that pelvic floor engaged. Breathe into the belly and relax the upper body. And when you lower down, go real slow. Rock the knees a little from side to side. We'll take a happy baby pose. Pull the knees toward the armpits. Rock and roll all around. Give yourself a massage. You deserve it. Squeeze the knees in tightly. Bring the knees over to the left. Right hand out to the right. Right shoulder blade to the mat. Chin toward the right hand. And fill your lungs all the way from the bottom to the top. Really feeling how those lungs play a huge role in the internal massage and soothing potential of the breath coming and going. We'll bring the knees over to the right. Left hand out to the left. Chin toward the left hand, shoulders away from the ears. Deep, full breaths. Gratitude for your body. For all it does for you. Let this practice be you doing this for your body. And final Shavasana, lay flat on your back, relax. Soften your shoulders, soften your whole body. And as you breathe, just send your attention to wherever in your body is feeling something. Whether it feels like temperatures or tingles or textures or patterns, tightness or stiffness or looseness or lightness. Send all of your attention to whatever sensations are calling for your attention. And refrain from jumping back into the busy mind that wants to explain all the sensations. Instead, just feel them. Be with them and know that that's enough. When you're ready, you can roll on to your right or left side. And return to comfortably seated. Ah. The light in me appreciates the light in you. Namaste. Hope you have a lovely week. Make sure to check out the virtual why or tune in to Facebook Live to catch a daily practice. We have a full library of online practices and virtual, um, you know, dance, hit workouts, core stuff, bar stuff, yoga, meditation, you name it, we're making it. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Cheers.